Welcome to this tutorial. Today, I will show you step-by-step -step instructions on how I created this 3D animated Porsche presentation entirely in PowerPoint. By the end of this course, you will learn 1. Where to find 3D models to use in your presentation. 2. Basics of 3D animation in PowerPoint. 3. Basics of morph transition in PowerPoint. 4. How to recreate the entire Porsche animation step by step and create a parallax effect. 5. How to export your presentation as a video file. Let's start. Chapter 1 Where to find 3D models for your presentation. Open your browser and type in the address sketchfab.com. This website works best for finding 3D models. In the search bar, type Porsche. You'll see plenty of 3D models on this website. Some are paid, but there are also many free resources. Click on the model you want to use. Now, click on Download 3D Model. The extension we're interested in is .glb. Choose a texture size of 4K. The larger the texture size, the more detailed our object will be. Click the Download button and wait for the file to download. I will also add the website link in the video description. Go to the Insert tab, click on 3D Models, and then select This Device. Navigate to your downloads and find the downloaded object. Select it and click Insert. Our 3D object has been imported. You can zoom in and see how it works. Click on the white icon with arrows inside. Then click and hold while rotating the mouse to rotate the 3D object. Pay attention to this useful feature. Select the 3D object and go to the 3D Model tab. On the left side, you'll see the 3D Model Views section. Here, you will find different camera settings, which will be very helpful for later animation because we will be able to set the camera accordingly between slides. The pan and zoom option allows you to smoothly navigate across and zoom into specific parts of your 3D model, enhancing the visual storytelling of your presentation. This feature helps to focus attention on details and create dynamic movement without changing slides. Chapter 3 Basics of Morph Transition with Parallax Effect. First, place your 3D model on the slide. Then, Insert a rectangle shape and cover half of the slide with it. Position the 3D model where you want it, and once you're satisfied with the placement, duplicate the slide. On the duplicated slide, rotate your 3D model and select a different camera angle. Also, change the position of your rectangle to create a new composition. Now for the best part, apply the morph transition to both slides. To see the magic, hit F5 and watch as your 3D model and rectangle smoothly transition and animate between the two slides. Chapter 4 Let's walk through how to recreate the Porsche animation step by step to create a parallax effect in PowerPoint. For our first slide, create the background layers. Insert a rectangle to create depth. Position this rectangle to mimic the foreground and background. Now let's add some branding. For that, insert a text box. All the fonts which I am using, I will add those in the description so that you can easily download the fonts.
Here's how to add a logo to your PowerPoint presentation. Click on the Insert tab. Click on Pictures. Then select Online Pictures. In the search bar, type the name of the logo you are looking for. Press Enter. Select and insert the logo. Now here comes the most simple yet important part of our design. From the bottom, use the zoom out option. Let's add three additional slides to our presentation. I've already prepared some text for these slides. Follow along as I demonstrate the process. It's quite simple. Watch closely and you'll understand how to do it in no time. I've already prepared the text to keep the tutorial concise. Follow along as I show you how to add three additional slides. It's straightforward and easy to understand. So we have added an empty parking lot and a road to our presentation to mimic the foreground, middle ground, and background. Ensure everything is aligned properly on the current slide before duplicating it. On the duplicated slide, select everything using Ctrl plus A, then drag the content from the parking lot slide to the slide area. This method helps maintain consistency and saves time in organizing your presentation. Everything looks good on our parking lot slide. Now, Let's add the Porsche onto the parking lot slide to enhance our presentation. Slide 2 is ready. Now, repeat this simple process for the third and fourth slides. Duplicate the slide. Select all content and position the third slide's content within the visible area. If everything looks good, add the Porsche onto the slide to enhance our presentation.
Let's ensure consistency across all slides by adding the name and logo to each one. This will enhance the overall presentation and reinforce branding throughout. Slide 3 looks cool. Now, repeat this simple process for the final slide. Duplicate the slide. Select all content and position the fourth slide's content within the visible area. Bring the Porsche onto the final slide and adjust its camera angle and size to match the background image for a parallax effect. This will create a dynamic visual impact that enhances your presentation storytelling. The fourth slide looks great. Now, select all slides and from the transition menu, choose Morph Transition to apply the finishing touch of magic to your presentation. Chapter 4. Let's quickly explore the animation options available for 3D models in PowerPoint. Select the Porsche and click on the Animations menu. Here, you'll find various animation options to bring your 3D object to life. Arrive. Introduce the Porsche onto the slide with a smooth entrance. Turntable. Rotate the Porsche 360 degrees horizontally, showcasing it from all angles. Swing. Swing the Porsche back and forth adding a dynamic movement effect. Jump and turn. Combine a jump animation with a turn to simulate dynamic movement. Leave. Conclude by smoothly removing the Porsche from the slide. These animations are incredibly useful for adding dynamic motion and visual interest to your 3D objects, making your presentations more engaging. Using these effects can effectively highlight key aspects of your 3D models ensuring they capture your audience's attention. Let's hit F5 to preview the final presentation. Once we're satisfied with the animations, we'll export the presentation as a video. My friends, this looks cool. Now let's save our PowerPoint as a video. There are two ways to do this. From File menu, click on File. Select Save As. Click on Browse. Choose Save As Type and select MPEG 4 Video or Windows Media Video. Another great option is from Record menu. 
Click on the Record tab. Select Export to Video. Choose your desired video quality and click Create Video. The video has been successfully saved as an MP4 file. We can now play it to review the final presentation. Thank you for joining me on this journey to master PowerPoint animations. I hope you found the course engaging and informative. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep experimenting with 3D models, morph transitions, and parallax effects. Happy presenting!